Hey everyone, Sam here. Today I want to run you through a technique to identify if network is your performance holdup on your website. So for today's demo we're going to be using Google Chrome version 60. Let's switch over to our demo app. So here's our app. It's a simple Hacker News clone that I've been hacking on for the last two weeks. And to set up our demo we're going to go to our network tab in DevTools. We're going to make sure disable cache is checked. We are going to set regular 3G throttling to simulate what it's like to load this page on a mobile phone and that's it. Let's switch over to the performance tab, make sure screenshots is checked and hit command shift R. So here are our page loads in and this might look like a lot initially but let's step through it. So on top we have individual frames and this is what the browser is painting as the page loads. You can see that we get this app shell rendered in and then we go into actually having content. So if we expand our network tab, we see that we have our initial requests for our root page. We're then fetching this JavaScript file from the network and then a JSON file. And then when we're done with that, we're actually rendering some content. So what I like to use to quantify this is I like to hold shift here which lets me measure how long these requests are taking. So I see the initial one is taking almost a second. This closure compiler one, uh, or cc.js, is loading quite quickly, 132 milliseconds, and then finally our stories.json. But I think there's an opportunity here to sort of parallelize these versus being serial. So it'd be nice if we were to make that change and re-record uh, using something like HTTP2 push or link rel preload. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've recorded a new profile where I made that change to use uh, link rel preload headers. So let's see the effect. Okay, so this is uh, quite different. We now see that the cc.js file and stories.json is happening in parallel versus serially. And we see that our root page is the same as before. So once this root page has started to download, we then fire off our quest for cc.js and stories.json at the same time, which is a big win for the user. Because now we're getting our initial paint at 500 and or 600 milliseconds on a 3G connection versus before we were right at, ooh, I mean almost, almost two seconds. So hopefully this was helpful and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks.